Hey guys, it's me, Steve, Cliff Ancient Chevrolet. Today I wanted to talk to you about the vehicle that's currently in the Chevrolet lineup that just drives me up the wall. It's the vehicle that has really become the symbol of all our problems through the pandemic and our supply chain shortage. It's the vehicle that I hate to love, the Chevy Trailblazer. So guys, get comfortable and then let's talk about why the Chevy Trailblazer frustrates me so much. <laughs> For the 2021 mile year, Chevrolet decided to revive the Trailblazer nameplate after 10 years of inactivity. Now we can have a debate on whether you like the new modern body style and them using the name of the Blazer and the Trailblazer on this more modern SUV. No, God! No, God, please, no, no! For another video. But for today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about what frustrates me about this SUV so much. If we go back a couple of years ago and look at the Chevrolet SUV lineup, we had the Trax, we had the Equinox, the Blazer, the Traverse, the Tahoe, and the Suburban. And the mid-size SUV market was highly competitive, along with some compact SUVs that were taking a substantial portion of the market. And while the Equinox is one of the better selling SUVs in the Chevrolet lineup, a lot of customers felt that the Equinox was dated, a little old, and frankly, kind of a older person vehicle. One of the strongest things about the Chevy Equinox was the price point of it, especially for my lease customers, where they were able to lease an Equinox relatively inexpensively and still have an all-wheel drive, fuel-efficient SUV. Enter the Chevy Trailblazer, a compact SUV that got great gas mileage. It was a little edgy, modern, very well equipped and very reasonably priced. At the time when they introduced the Chevy Trailblazer to us, we were told that it was going to be a more competitively priced SUV on the market to go against the RAV4, the Honda CRV, and the Ford Escape. The Trailblazer had multiple trim levels, the LT, the RS, the Active, and we were really excited to see affordable SUV for our younger demographic. Now, admittedly, no one saw the pandemic coming, but with the Trailblazer being made over in Asia, and with all the supply chain issues we had, the rollout of the Trailblazer was off to a rough start. Fast forward to present times, we really haven't had any more solutions with the Trailblazer. In fact, it's even more frustrating to me now than it was in the beginning. Currently, if you were coming to me and you want to order a Trailblazer, I can't even order it. Right now, though, they're doing something that's called a port consensus. And what they're doing is they're building a bunch of Trailblazers over in Korea, slapping them on a freighter, and then pushing them over in America. And as they're kind of making their way over here, dealers are able to go in there and kind of fight for them, try to pick off different cars and with the shortage of vehicles we really can't afford to be very picky we take every single one we can however the larger problem at hand is, is if you go to chevrolet.com right now and look at the chevy trailblazer it's going to give you the impression that you can build the vehicle and set it up at the way you want whether you want to get an active an rs an lt whether you want to get it in white black red blue bronze all the different colors that are available to the customer but the reality is, is when you come to me at the dealership, I'm not even able to order you the car. I have to tell you, this is the vehicle that you have to take, or you don't even get one at all. So what we've been doing lately is, is we take what the customer wants. As we can see what's coming in, we're able to call the customer and give them a heads up, or customers are able to see on our website that like this one right here, I see that you have a red RS coming in. That's the one I'll take. You're not able to really customize the car. You're not really able to set it up the way you want. You just kind of have to take whatever's available at the dealership. True, you're able to call around to different dealerships and find maybe the vehicle you're looking for. It's tough if you have a dealer that you want and you know there's a specific trailblazer that you want. You might have a very difficult time trying to get at that vehicle. What makes this all even much more perplexing is we were under the impression they were gonna phase the tracks out. And now that we know for 2024, we're gonna get a refreshed very modernized Chevy Trax, it really brings to the confusion on what is even going on. Compounded by the fact that the lease programs aren't even very good on the Trailblazer. For a vehicle that MSRPs a couple thousand dollars below the Equinox, it's almost the same price as leasing an Equinox. 
So the fact that you're losing space, not gaining many options, you're almost better off getting an Equinox. This is even made worse by the fact that we can get Equinoxes and every Trailblazer that we get in, we're lucky to have. Right now we have two Trailblazers on our lot and both of them were promised to customers weeks ago. But that being said, I absolutely love the Chevy Trailblazer. That's why it makes it so frustrating for me that we're having these issues with it. I think it's a sharp vehicle, has all wheel drive. They have different trim levels. If you want something a little more sporty, they have their RS. If you're looking for something a little more outdoor, just a touch of rugged to kind of compete with Subarus, we have that active trim level. And if you're really looking just for a nice all wheel drive vehicle with some decent options, the LT is a great option for you as well. So I just absolutely love the Trailblazer. My interactions with the customers, they love it as well. But when they get the vehicle and they find it for almost $400 a month, or the fact that they can't even choose what options or color that they have, it just makes the whole process extremely frustrating for not only me, but for you, the end customer. We've been seeing supply chain issues getting better throughout the past couple months, but it's still nowhere near it was back a couple of years ago. We can only hope that as we move forward, we'll get more trailblazers and be able to order them the way our customers want. However, I just simply do not see that happening anytime soon. And it'll be interesting to see how the Chevy Trax plays all in this. Are we gonna be able to order the Trax or are they gonna do the same type of thing as they do with the Trailblazer where they're just gonna send them to us and we really don't have any option? We've only gotten one Trax in the past three months. So I can't see that getting any better as well. Although with the new model change, that might have something to do. So that's my frustration with the Chevy Trailblazer. Let me know what you think of the Chevy Trailblazer. Did you like it? Do you love it? And I know a lot of you aren't happy that they, they chose the Trailblazer Blazer name and put it in a really modern looking SUV. I know a lot of you guys have really missed that square body Blazer. I have a video I'm working on a custom Trail Boss. It's the 2.7 versus that V8. Is it even worth your money to even buy the V8 at this point with a custom Trail Boss? We'll do the accessories video. We got a Tahoe video coming. So lots of content coming. Do me a favor, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe so we can stay on top of what's going on in the Chevrolet market. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I'll talk to you on the next one.